And this is a competitive game where players are going to be bidding in order to try and take the best actions in order to gain prestige in the expansion of the Roman Empire while constantly being contested by barbarian attacks. The game plays over three rounds with each round having five phases, but each phase is going to have a selection of actions that get progressively worse if you're not able to take a winning bid. Players are going to be bidding for these actions using limited cards, with each of these cards having different values and different ways that they can interact and affect the bidding. But these cards are generally one-time use within a round, which means that you're not going to get anything that you use back until a following round. Luckily, players can also gain modifiers that they can spend to increase the value of a card if they really want to win a bid but maybe used all of their better cards earlier. The different actions available throughout each of the phases of bidding are going to allow players to do all sorts of different things and manipulate the board in all sorts of different ways, but some of those actions allow players to pass laws, gaining them one-time use abilities, or they can allow them to build buildings out on the board in order to gain presence there, which can gain them victory points each round, or give them an ability that they can use once per round instead. Players can also hire and contribute warriors into battle, and you will be gaining points and coins based on your contributions, and if you win, you're going to be advancing the Roman Empire further out into the other territories. But if the players lose, then the barbarians are going to be taking that territory and then moving in deeper towards the city of Rome, attacking every territory until they get there, unless they're stopped before they're able to do so. And this is every player's concern, because if the barbarians ever reach the city, of Rome, then all the players lose the game. At the end of each round, players are also going to have to pay a tax based on how much that they own within the game, and then the game continues like this over the following rounds, and then it's the player with the most victory points at the end of the game that wins the game. If you are interested in this one, I will have it linked in the description below.